Skill drain is at three, baby. What is up, nation? It is your boy, Duo, and today I have something very special for you guys. The ban list is out, and the Dogmatica Nation got away with highway robbery. We still have two copies of Nadir Servant, and so today I figured I'd bring to you guys a little updated Eldlich Dogmatica list. You guys seem to love the undefeated list that I posted a while back, and now I'm back at it again for this new ban list. So make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get right into this video. So, starting off with two Eldlich of the Golden Lord. Now, this is pretty standard. I think everyone kind of expects this in Dogmatica Eldlich, so not gonna go into it, broken card. Uh, then we have one copy of Dogmatica Ecclesia. Now, with Nadir Servant at 2, we can't really bank as hard on, the, you know, using the Dogmatica engine as a crutch. I still love Ecclesia. She's a great card, but we just need to reduce the engine a little bit, so we're going to be playing her at 1. And then, we have a whole lot of hand traps. Now, you can choose whatever hand traps you want. I'm sure this isn't going to be the best lineup because... The ban list still isn't even in effect yet. I mean, this video is coming out on January 27th, and the ban list goes live on February 7th. So, this is just something to, you know, get the uh, get the butter churning, get the get the thoughts thinking, and stuff like that. So, we have one copy of Nibiru, the Primal Being, and then we have our Psy Frame package with our three Gamma and one Driver. Uh, gamma didn't get hit. I don't know. It's that one in the OCG, but we still have three of it. So, Pog, this card's still going to be really good because we're going to be setting a lot of stuff on our first turn and not really putting out a monster. So, this card's never really going to be bad if we open it. And then we have three copies of Ash Blossom to close it out. Pretty simple. Moving on to our spells, we have two copies of Nadir Servant. Uh, you know pretty standard obviously it does suck that we don't have three but honestly this card is going to be balanced at two it's just uh you know it, it was a fair hit i can respect it i'm glad that we have two instead of one like the ocg then we have our three copies of pot of extravagance and two copies of pot of duality now i've decided to put a bigger stress on pot of duality instead of something like foolish burial goods or upstart because we have some pretty big blowout cards that we want to dig for. You know, we have a, uh, you know, we got uh, uh, Skill Drain. We're digging for Skill Drain. We really want that card. It's at three. We want it. Please give me Skill Drain. I want Pot of Duality to reveal Skill Drain. And then I want to add it to my hand, set it, and then activate it. Okay? This card's good. Moving on to the traps. Uh, three Conquistador, two Wakero, uh, three Scarlet Sanguine. Pretty simple. And then three copies of Skill Drain. We love this card. Good card. Uh, we are going to drain their skill, and that's how this deck wins. Then we're going to have two copies of Dogmatica Punishment. As I said, we're not really trying to use the Dogmatica engine as a crutch. Uh, so two copies uh, is more than enough. This card is super awesome. And then two copies of Ice Dragon's Prison. Uh, Dragoon didn't get hit. Verite didn't get hit. So that is definitely number one problemo for us. Uh, so we definitely need to make sure that we don't get chump checked by that card. Three copies of Infinite Impermanence to round out our hand trap lineup. That's going to be 10 hand traps, by the way. We are playing a chunky hand trap lineup. Then one copy of Trap Trick just to, you know, get us extra copies of whatever. You know, we can set Scarlet Sanguine, uh, Dogmatica Punishment, IDP, Infinite Impermanence. We have a lot of options with that. And then three copies of Solemn Strike to round out the main deck. Again, you know, it's just a really powerful uh, going second card or going first card. Uh, and this is going to kind of help us break boards. So, you know, I think that this card is definitely going to be a must. And now moving on to our extra deck and side deck now. I don't really know what the side deck is going to look like. I have some ideas for, you know, what might be meta. I think it's going to be, we're still going to have a bit of combo strategies. With Destrudo coming back, I think we're going to see Dragon Link doing really well. Phantom Knight basically didn't get hit at all, so I think we definitely see that in the future. So I think we're going to be siding a lot of anti-combo cards and i think we're gonna see a lot of the eldlich ditto so make sure to be careful we have a, a lot of cards designed to kind of cripple the strategy and win games two and three in the ditto so we're gonna be playing our second and third copies of nibiru and then we're gonna be playing our dimension shifter now i have a theory about dimension shifter and i'll share it with you guys i think that this is going to be really good going against combo decks because 
even though you really don't want to banish your Eldritch stuff, being able to set yourself up, I mean, this is just a turn-ending card against combo decks, like Phantom Knight obviously uses their grave, Dragon Link is going to be using their grave, we're just going to be seeing uh, a lot of combo decks coming up, and I think that D-Shifter is going to stop them and allow us to set up, you know, our goes and matches, our skill drains, our solemn strikes, it's going to give us a chance to, you know, be able to get ahead in the game and stop them from ever comboing in the first place. Then for the ditto, we are going to have DD Crow and Skullmeister, obviously, to stop the traps from banishing, as well as these are just really good anti-Phantom Knight cards. So I definitely think that these are going to be sided, if not mained, in the future. And then we have an enhanced Dogmatica package. Now, I, I don't know how good this will be in the future, but I think it's a little spicy, and I definitely recommend people try it once the ban list goes live. So we have our second copy of Ecclesia, and then we have Dogmatica Maximus, Fleur de Lee, and Shadal Schism. Now, Shadal Schism and Winda didn't get hit at all. So uh, that's definitely something to consider uh, if you're playing a Dogmatica deck. I think that Schism is going to be able to stop a lot of combo decks, and so being able to side this if you know you're going first, this could potentially be a really, really good option. And then you obviously Fleur de Lee is just your negate. I think that Maximus will do a lot of work in the Eldritch Ditto, just because it's constantly going to be able to send Elder Entity in Tiss, and they're going to have to, you know, out it with something very quickly, and it will just give you a bunch of card advantage and allow you to get ahead. And then we have three copies of Goes and Match. Obviously, this is a staple in the Eldritch Dogmatica deck. However, with, you know, decks like Phantom Knight that are going to be playing all dark monsters, and then you have stuff, you know, like, you know, the Eldritch Ditto, uh, I don't know if this card is going to be main decked in the future. So you can most certainly main deck it, but uh, do it at your own risk is all I'm saying. Stay safe out there, boys. And then moving on to the extra deck, this is pretty simple, but uh, I'll just go through it anyways. Obviously, uh, three copies of Constellar Pleiades. Uh, this is just your staple Xyz monster. Uh, pretty simple. Even though we're going to be activating Skill Drain a lot more, being able to put a 2500 beater on the field in addition to your Eldritch, I think is going to be really good for aggressive plays. And then we have our Elder Entity in Tiss, our Fossil Warrior Skull Knight, our Divine Arsenal AA Zeus Sky Thunder. This is going to be really critical in the Ditto as well, just being able to make Pleiades and then, you know, summon your Zeus, and then that basically ends the game. Very important. Two copy of Farajit the Baron Blossom. Tri Brigade didn't get hit, that's crazy. Obviously, if you guys have watched my last video, you know that I love this card and I think it's really good. Just being able to put back, you know, your bricks, put back your Golden Lords, put back your Psy Frame Drivers. Uh, I think that this card is still very powerful. And then we have our App Cologne and Winda for the Schism Package. Uh, I personally believe that this could potentially be the future uh, of the Dogmatica Eldritch strategy, so I definitely think that if you don't have it already, it's something worth picking up. But that's going to do it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate y'all. I can't believe we got away with it. We really got away with it. And let me know what you guys think about the list. If you've got some spicy texts, uh, drop them in the comments section. But I, that'll do it for the video, and uh, see y'all later. Peace. I